Myron, servant of Morgoth. Anatar, bringer of gifts. Gorthaur, the cruel. The Lord of the Rings. The Dark Lord Sauron has many names, but for as long as I draw breath, he shall not become the ruler of Middle-earth. All the lands of Gondor have been reclaimed, all but one. For across the river Erui lies the city of Karasast, where Sauron now resides. My scouts report he only has a small garrison, no doubt trusting in his own strength, now that he has the ring once more, to subdue any attackers. Still, he has been beaten once before. And although we cannot hope to rely on the elves this time to lend their support, I, Aragorn, will not stand alone. My fiercest warriors will join me, as well as a battalion of artillery and the wizard Mithrandir. Together we slay Sauron, as my ancestor Isildur did before me. But unlike him, I refuse to obey the will of the ring. I shall tear down the Black Gate itself if I must, and ascend Mount Doom just to have a chance to destroy this cursed thing, banish Sauron for once and for all, and usher in a golden age of man. Greetings my friends and welcome back for episode 36 of our Reunited Kingdom campaign in Third Age to the War, Divide and Conquer Age Hero. I do want to apologise for the delay on episode 35, it came out a day later than expected or than I really had planned, and that's because my second Covid vaccination shot kicked my ass a little bit more than expected, or actually it was my immune system that kicked my ass a little bit, which is actually a good sign, but I was, I was pretty much knocked out for a day, two days, Still feeling it a little bit today, you might notice my voice that I'm still feeling a little bit under the weather, but uh, I'm doing quite a lot better than before. My body kind of went full Dalek on me and just went exterminate and fried my brain with fever and it wasn't a fun time, but <laughs> I'm happy to be here with you once more. Anyway, for this episode, I'd like to imagine we'll finally take down Sauron. He's been chilling in Karasast for far too long. Lots of people have been asking me if I can somehow get him out of there and give him a fighting chance, but I can't. I can't teleport him if he's inside a settlement. What I could do, some suggestions were made to try and lure him out of the settlement by placing, for example, this unit right outside, but as long as it doesn't have any other units, the AI will never leave a settlement completely abandoned. So, and I haven't seen them train anything in Karasas, to be honest. I think they had a garrison besides Sauron once, for one turn, and I think it was like part of this army or another army that was just marching about, was in Karasas for a turn, then buggered off again. And if you teleport a unit that's in, or a general that's inside a settlement, they become invisible and it just fucks with the game completely, because they're not actually there. So, as long as he's inside, can't teleport him. And, I mean, I've given Sauron plenty of chances to run away. He hasn't taken them. I mean, if he wants to be that brash and bold, then he shall suffer the consequences for it. Anyway, I'm already going to move these guys over. Because otherwise they can't make it out in one turn. Uh, just a couple of troops. There we go. With, of course, the trebuchet and the ballista. Uh, I think I'll get these guys involved. And maybe an extra general. Dervorin. No, actually, you are the governor, aren't you? Mouse double clicking, yes, because you have higher renown, way higher renown than Angbord, which is a bit of a surprise. Yes, uh, we're gonna bring in Mr. Gandalf, who will arrive in apparently one turn, <laughs> which is fantastic. And then I also, of course, naturally want Aragorn to be there. Aragorn, Gandalf, and the lads should be more than enough. Okay, now what I still want to do in this turn, turn 104, is of course take Ostathil. There's only Zagar, it is a castle. Yes, we God. have a catapult, so I think we'll be alright. Or I could wait one more turn and just make life easier on me. Yeah, let's maybe do that. I don't think he has any other armies on the way. The reason I want to take Ostathil is because it borders us Giliath. So the AI will keep attacking us, Gilith, but if I take Ostathil, we no longer border Mordor at us, Gilith, only at Minas Ethil and at Galabrin, which I actually need to be careful for. We have four more turns remaining. I should probably send a relief force there, but I can't. I don't really have anything. I could send these Ethelian Rangers, possibly. What have we got in Galabrin itself? Bandits, crap. I'm gonna stick 
I think if I send the Athelion Rangers, we might be able to stand a bit of a chance. Now ah, we'll see. I don't even care too much about Gelabrin. Anything else I need to be doing? Not sure. I could get some extra troops from Brethel over. Want to do some retraining as well. I'll keep them for now. We got troops in Fanulont as well, which I'll retrain. We are training armies in Dol Amroth as well. That's for our naval invasion, and we're going to siege them out. I have time and patience. Is there anything I want to do in this turn besides that? I don't think so, but I might be mistaken. Right, let's press the end turn. Some people have been asking my opinion about the um, released pictures of the Amazon series for Lord of the Rings. And whilst they don't show a whole lot, from what I've seen so far, it does seem promising. I mean, a lot of people have already been like, oh, it's an Amazon series, it's... Oh, Mordor fucked off. That's good news. Lots of people are like, oh, you know, it's an Amazon series, I'm sure it's going to be crap. I don't particularly... Oh, crap. Share that sentiment, but I guess only time will tell. It might be very, very good. Who knows? I mean, I'm not too concerned about this. It's got some bulk champions, sure, but besides that, I just see meh units. No Pale Uruks or anything of the sort. We do have the Steel Bows to take down the bulk champions, so I think we'll be fine. Just a bit of an appetizer before the main treat. Let's go. And the good thing about this settlement is, of course, it has no UI. No, it's, of course, the uh, the nice hill where I can put my Steel Bows. Bloop. Either there or... If I had a trebuchet, it would look so cool over here. Uh, right, I could put down st stakes, but seeing as they don't have cavalry, that doesn't matter one bit. Cav, you're gonna go take blip, an outside journey. Where the fuck's the other gate? Sorry for the confusing perspective. But yeah, I mean, the Amazon series, I, th I think it might be good. I'm not gonna book you Skyvola, put my hand in the fire for it, but... I think it has potential. It definitely has budget, <laughs> which is of course, you know, you might scoff at that, like you can't just buy a good movie, that is true, but you can't not make a good movie, or you can't make a good movie without any money. So in that regard, they already have that covered. Um, let's see, could I put the Dunedin Ranger, let's see, put them here. You guys, I don't mind you staying there. Veilsman, you can hold the wall. Is that everyone? I'll put the Dunedain Wardens on the town square. Alright, let's move out. Where are the Bulg champions? They're going on the ladders. Interesting. Makes them pretty easy target as well. Fuck those Bulg champions! Who even is Bulg? Is that like Azok's father, I think? Wait, maybe the unit description tells me. Let's see. Venerable location, blah blah blah. Uh, in honor of their forefathers who fought in the Great Battle of Five Armies, they venerate Bolg with his name. I think he's related to Azog. I need to read The Hobbit. Badly. I have continued reading The Lord of the Rings. I took a bit of a hiatus because I didn't have a lot of time. But now that I have more time again... I mean, my sickness... <laughs> I wasn't really in the mood to read then, but I have started reading again. But I must say, the Tom Bombadil part really pulled me out of the book. I can imagine why they didn't put it in the movies. That part sucked. Like, it was really too long, too much. And then I was at the Barrow Downs, and that guy turned up again, and I was like, are you kidding me? I don't even know what to expect of Tom Bombadil. Like, on one hand, he seems like an incredibly powerful being, and on the other hand, he seems completely pointless. Like, he just seems like... He seems like a plot device to a non-existing plot, but whatever. Besides that, it has been quite fun. The only problem I kind of have when reading the books is that I can't really separate the characters from their movie appearance. Like, if they talk about Frodo, I just see Frodo from the movies. So, in a way, I wish I would have read the books before seeing the movies, but, you know, my interest in the books is because of the movies, of course. Uh, but in a way, I'm not sure, does that make sense what I'm talking about? I bet m other people have that as well. Where you just can't separate the characters, even though they're not the same, like... They're written quite differently and interpreted quite differently. So it would be nicer if I could start with a clean slate, but, you know. Can I hit those snow oak spears? No. But my Aotheid can. Bring forth the cavalry! Okay, there goes the bulk champions. They've already been reduced to 
or barely anything. You guys are gonna have a field day hunting these guys down. Just fire at will, bring in the Earthling Royal Guard. Battering down the gates, it's gonna take him forever. Like the bulk champions are gonna destroy my Woodland Hunters, no doubt about it. So maybe I should fight on them. A bit of a sacrificial lamb, I would admit. But I think I should still do that Siege of Dane's Halls, because I think I figured out I could do it in like one turn, right? Wait, why did you... Okay, if you stop ramming, I'm gonna charge... I wasn't gonna charge you yet, but if you stop ramming, I'm totally charging you. Get out of there! Pull away! Okay, these guys have, uh... Bumped into action. Okay. Oh no, Athlete Royal Knight, I told you to pull back! Fools! Run away! You're gonna kill our captain! We have the Athlete Knights, they inspire the men, but still... Ready to fight! Ready to fight. Somehow, I don't doubt that. Are these guys firing back? Why aren't they fighting back? The AI works in mysterious ways sometimes. But it... Oh yes, they're getting destroyed by 10 bulk champions. Dying so hard, they start breakdancing. Respectable. These guys probably won't route anytime soon. And there come the Snoke Spears. What an odd little battle, eh? If only my Athlean Royal Knight hadn't fucked up so massively. Alright, let's speed this up. I've got a Dark Lord to kill. I mean, I'm not sure if we can get it done in this episode, but... I'd like to think so. And you, the viewer, can probably tell by the intro and the title of the video. If it's anything about Sauron, then you know we're going to do that fight. I'm not saying if we're going to be successful or not, because even in defeat, Saruman... Not Saruman. Sauron is dangerous. I wanted to do the quote, but then I did it too literally. Alright, Bjornings get up there. So even if he's all alone... He's going to be a tough nut to crack, especially because he has uh, ballista towers and all that jazz. I'm not sure if it's a castle or city, we'll have to check that. But if you think it's going to be a cakewalk, then hmm, you're going to be mistaken. Unless we get very, very lucky with the catapult volley. <laughs> Just to hip and happen to hit Sauron in the brain. That would do the trick. Okay. Are you going to climb up the seat? What are you doing? What? How are you doing? Uh, I wish you would still fire fire arrows. I wish I could tell my archers to use fire arrows. That would be wonderful. Get those Snoke spears out of there. There we go. You guys point blank fired. I love it. Oh, they broke. They did go down really quickly. And that plays a part in morale as well. Okay, bring in the next one. You guys stay on guard mode. Don't go chasing them. They're just kind of there to hold them busy. Hold. Yeah, send, in the, uh, send them in one by one. I don't care. Once I take Dane's Halls, I think that's going to be our one border. So we should see less of... Oh no, I think this one's still going to be a border. I should toggle Fog of War again at some point. I'll do it at like turn... I'll do it after beating Sauron. I feel like that's a nice timing. Because I want to see, like, what are the uh, the elves of, of Mirkwood up to? What's Thranduil and his folk? Is Thranduil still alive? I don't even know. Somehow doubt that. And how is the Anduin Vale doing? How is Erebor doing? Are they any closer to reclaiming that damn mountain or not? First it was the dragon, now these lads. Run them down. Half already, eh? And we've lost 15. That's more than I expected. That is mostly Bjorning trash and... I mean, trash, they are quite alright. Woodland Hunters. I mean, I should probably just start doing calf sandwiches. I forgot about you for some reason. Let's calf sandwich the Snork Scouts, they'll break. Less inclined to calf sandwich Snork Spears, but hopefully they still come in. We still have the Black Shield Warband as well, that's a scary unit. Yeah, they're toast, aren't they? Enemy general dead. There we go. They're gone. Snoke spears are completely unbothered by it. Ugly, ugly faces. I do like Gundabad. Who knows? Maybe they'll be the next campaign. I think for the next poll, if I'm even going to do a poll, I'm not 
100% sure about it. I think I will. But I think it's going to be only evil factions. We haven't done an evil faction in a little bit. I mean, there was Isengard, of course. So not that long ago. The previous one was an, Is an evil campaign. But I think it's going to be fun to do another evil campaign, especially after all the goodness in this campaign. Alright, I'm going to start throwing away units, but if the AI doesn't want to play ball, then... I think I'm going to do calf sandwiches against spears, which doesn't work all that well, but... Otherwise, this battle's going to take years, and I've got... A fallen mire to take care of. So as much as I don't like doing a calf sandwich against spears, they are just snook spears. They're not black shields, which is at least a little less scary. They're not bracing. They did break right away. Okay, that worked out. So what about you guys, hey? What about you guys? All right, sending the knights to form an anvil, and then blade masters as well. You guys, climb down the ladder or... Keep them at a distance. Stop fighting. And I think with the knights and then the Athen Royal Guard they will rout. They can't properly brace, I don't think. Look at these knights, they look fantastic. I actually wish they kind of had bigger swords. Their swords seem a bit small. I'd expect them to use long swords. Okay, here comes the cavalry in all its might. <laughs> but already shaken. Athene Royal Knights cause fear. And just the sheer impact of the calf and the numbers, although it's not a proper charge, I think. Well, they're down to wavering. But I'm going to lose a lot of cav like this. Yeah. Because it's not a proper charge, because they're like half on the thingy mabob, the siege tower. Get out of there. Talking about Bob, I hope you appreciated that little tribute video I made. <laughs> Lots of people seem to like it. There might be more stream highlights, who knows. But if you guys have any stream highlights, there is a special channel in the Discord called Best of Izzy. I came up with the title myself, I admit that. Where you can post your favorite moments from streams and from videos. And yeah, I'm thinking of just making compilations of like funny shit that has happened throughout the... Uh, or just facepalm stuff throughout the many campaigns. If you have any favorite moments that you want to see immortalized on the channel, do let me know. Alright, there we go. Easy peasy, 112. If I could get Man of the Hour from this, I would get it. And there we have it. Executable. Bye bye. Nope. God damn it. We are besieged. Alright, I think if I take Dane's Halls, we'll be alright. <laughs> I'm not sure. I had a mission. Edricard, I completely forgot about that. Some people have been pointing out that if I want to block a port without a ship, you can also just place an army on top of the port, and that also works. So thank you for that recommendation. Hello, Anna Dwight. Where the fuck are you going? Are you still at war with Bree by any chance? And uh, no, you're at war with Mordor and Dol Guldur. You're going the wrong way, they're over here. That way. Whatever. As long as we're allied, I doubt he's gonna betray me. Hobbiton is still pissed the fuck off. So be it. Try to keep him pacified. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So be it. Alright, well... Hmm. Let's set up everything. I'm gonna put you here. Maintain the siege. Gandalf. That's a long way to go, but the game says you can make it there. The game wasn't kidding. Oh, I should have checked for mercenaries. You could probably pick up a couple that have hit him. How old are you, Gandalf? You're 32. That's not that old. Oh, yes. I also need to make sure, because I'm pretty sure if Sauron dies now, we get the One Ring. Um, and then we can cast it into Mount Doom. I think first we need to go to the White Council. But uh, I need to make sure we have enough ancillary slots now, or retinue slots. Seeing as we're playing AGO, we have a max of 16 instead of 8 in vanilla. So Gandalf, for example, has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 slots, which is... He still has plenty of room. Elisar, 1, 2... Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So he still has room as well. I'm not sure who I would trust the most with the ring. I do know once we take the ring, we need to go to the White Council in Imladris. 
And if it's possible, I would love to have Gandalf do that because he has that insane movement speed. He can just travel through our safe lands uh, just on his own. And you saw how far he can travel in one turn. So that would speed things up quite a bit. Uh, and I think it needs to be Aragorn that finishes the deed. Even if it might cost him his life, I feel like Aragorn would do that. Unless I can somehow recruit Frodo to do that. Yes, Alright, Aragorn, you're going to join them? And I know you are incredibly hyped, just as I am, to do this battle. But as a bit of a warm-up, we're going to start with... Is it Zigar? Yes, it is Zigar at Ostathil. Yes, just to keep you a bit more hyped. <laughs> Zigar, he has marksmen, doesn't he? Yes. This, the, in my opinion, in a siege battle, at least the scariest of all the temple units. Of all the Black Numenorians. But uh, we've got the power of catapults, we've got two rams... We should be able to tear down enough of the siege towers not to be too scared, so we should be alright. Let's do this. Alright, there we go. That is a castle, which is the scariest type of stronghold in the game. Um, because there are so many towers so close to one another. If you upgrade it, it actually becomes not as good. At least if you have small armies. If you have like one unit, this settlement type is perfect. Um, right, I should deploy some units on this side with a ram. Uh, oop, just these two guys. Catapult, you're gonna knock down these towers, and you're gonna grab this ram. Everyone else kinda stay a little bit behind. Alright, we do have steel bows. That's gonna be perfect. Alright, he's chilling there, so I'm gonna push the ram there, and that should draw him away from his little hidey spot. You might already do so. Yeah, just go chill on the town square. Or chill over there. No, that's gonna trigger... Hmm. I don't think it'll trigger the gate towers if I move far away enough. Okay, he went to the town square. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Gondor Militia! Catapult! Let's start by taking down this tower. I'm not sure how many shots you need. You're not as strong as a trebuchet. Eh, quite alright. Two volleys per tower. So I should have enough ammo to take down four towers, I think. Definitely. Oh, not if you miss. Come on. Okay, wait, what? It says the tower has been destroyed, but it, it looks alright. I'm just going to trust the text. We can still attack. This is weird. Let's just assume it's gone. Alright, knock down the gate. And then you guys can already start knocking down the gate as well. Another volley. Wonderful. And Ostathil can serve as quite a nice defensive position as well against Harad and Kant, I assume. I can't imagine they won't go for me. Alright, this tower might be triggered, so... Keep our distance, we have plenty of ammo. There we go, 50%, another volley. Wonderful. Another tower that looks to be alright. Let's walk past it, we'll see if it works or not. If it starts firing on me. Can you not walk past it? There you go. Could also destroy... Uh, could try and destroy like this tower or that tower. We're knocking it down from two sides though. I put my Dwarven Travelers on, like, this wall here to have them firing down on them, for example. Okay, this tower is not doing anything, so it does work as intended. With great speed comes great responsibility, quoth Uncle Ben. I personally cannot wait for the new Spider-Man movie. If the rumors are true, and it would feature, like, old Spider-Man actors as well as new ones, then I am a very, very happy man. If you don't know, like, I'm a super big Spider-Man fan, like, out of all superheroes in all universes, he is by far my favorite character. The battering ram has done its work. I'm not sure why I'm sharing this information with you all of a sudden, I'm not sure where that- Oh yeah, because of the Uncle Ben quote, right. Dunedain, don't fire just yet, Dunedain friends. Don't want to make Zagar unhappy. Is he firing at me? Don't do that. Oh, he's fighting at some Gondor militia boys. Alright, I don't want to send an Eldarian. That is Eldarian, right? First. I think it's Eldarian. 
Katapult. Get those dwarven friends in there. Sound the bells. I just imagine those are people from Gondor sounding the bells. Just to let us know how happy they are that we're finally here. Okay, well, most of the towers have been eliminated, so I feel kind of safe now. Send in the Athenian Ranges. I don't have any AP besides Eldarian. I want to try to lure him here. Okay. I hear a Ballista Tower fighting and I'm not sure which one. Is it that one? I'm not seeing any projectiles. It is that one! What? That's a whole lot of croc. Is it that one? I mean, they're fighting at the catapult crew, so it has to be that one, right? Well, that's some bullshit. I guess it's like... I don't know why that is like that. Whatever. Eldarian, you're gonna get up there. Fuck you. Oh no! I saw a catapult shot, like, fly over there. So this one might also still be active, so let's actually take it down just to be safe. The Orban Travels are being quite effective, and they're not really returning fire. They're just doing the Mordor Shuffle, one of my favorite dances in the world. Alright, we're gonna take down Inazgul, which is, at this point, just a regular Saturday morning, isn't it? Or Sunday afternoon when you're watching this video, at least in my time zone. Used to be a big feat, but now that we're close to killing Mr. Sauron, suddenly, not so big of a deal. I would actually kind of feel safe putting you here. And that would be very, very useful indeed. Alright, don't let them get a volley off. They do use steel bows. So they are armor piercing, just as we are. But they're not armor piercing in melee, unlike our steel bows. Or our Dunedin bodyguard, I should say, because our steel bow unit, like Halberad, they use a long sword, or a swihander, actually. So they are on time of piercing in belly. But these guys are, because they have the big axes. Heavy infantry! These dwarven travelers are quite alright. I've actually grown quite fond of that unit throughout my many campaigns. They've just never really let me down. They've always been a good unit. Alright, it's gonna be Eldarion to take down Zagar, whilst his daddy takes down Sauron. Wonder where he got that from, huh? It's in our blood! Alright, this is a perfect angle. This is just raw execution. Let's enjoy every moment. Oh yeah, that is so effective. I'm sorry, Cell Swords! But it seems your life has been sold short. Yeah, oh, look at them going down. By the time they killed our cell swords and are ready to return fire, they don't have enough men to actually put out enough fire. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, you fools! You are false Numenorians, not real Numenorians. Serving the Dark Lord Sauron, how could you even call yourself Numenorian? You are Numenonorian. Kills a guard. My dwarven friends. Oh, there he goes. Fuck you, Zagar. There we go. Wonderful job. Didn't lose that many. Uh, battle's over, right? Game. There we go. Took you a little bit. 26 casualties. That is perfectly fine for the castle guarded by a Nazgul. I can live. Look at that. They killed 87. Just this position. Steel bows. Done deal. Get out of here, you foul fiend. We have triumphed, we have triumphed yes. Lord, Could occupy. It is a castle, so it has room for improvement. I should have checked culture first. I mean, Minas Ether is fine. Let's occupy it. Might regret that. What is called? Ooh, okay. Culture is pretty ass. 
we'll have to fix that. Uh, library, there we go. Alright, before we make the same mistake, let's check out Karasast. It's a large town, so it can be upgraded to a city. Uh, we have 31% Dunedain culture. Now, unlike the previous battle, I don't have any, like, actual armor piercing, I don't think. No. <laughs> That's kinda ass. I really could use some armor piercing. <laughs> Do I have nothing armor piercing, really? Uh, I could bring an extra ballista. Might do as well. The ballista's armor piercing, I guess, technically. I'm gonna use these extra Atlas pikemen as well. Uh, no AP whatsoever, eh? Kinda wanna use Denethor to kill Sauron, wouldn't that be funny? Uh, really, 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 really. Well, that kinda blows. Well, might as well get some extra real spearmen. Oh wait, I do have armor piercing. Angbor. He's got Labadon Clansman, their AP. Alright, well this is the big one, eh? I do want to... I don't want to get out of myself, but if we kill Sauron here, which I imagine will happen, we might lose some units in the process, we'll see. Uh, we want to rename the settlement to something to reminisce about that. Sauron the Dark. Even with all this, and only Sauron, 1,617 soldiers versus 88. The balance of power is still like... Uh, you got this, but just barely. Because in case there is any doubt, the Warlord of Mordor, he's got Sauron's mace, he has the One Ring. Ashnag Durbatuluk, Ashnag Gimbatul, Ashnag Trakatuluk, Agburzum Ishi Krimbatul. He's got a warg as well, which is a little bit weird. He's got a menacing Uruk, I imagine he has several. A farm overseer, a servant, who looks quite similar. He's also commander of the Western troops, among others. A siege engineer and an orcish helmet, as well as a witch. Okay. And his unit, let's see, 88 maxed out experience, 29 attack, armor piercing, <laughs> a 10 charge bonus, 53 defense, and 5 hit points. He's got 8 shield as well, oh lord. He's reliable in snow. And he's also relentless, so we can't stagger him either. Otherwise we could win fairly easy if we just surround him and stagger him like that. In possession of the One Ring. <laughs> Alright, well this is the big one. Let's hope we don't lose Aragorn or Gandalf. Not so worried about Angbor. If he dies, so be it. <sighs> Let's do this. Alright, here we are. Oh, it's nice to have Gandalf and Aragorn side by side again, at least. But I must admit, I'm a little bit scared of this battle. <laughs> Even with all the siege equipment I have, he's a scary man. Or man, or creature, whatever you want to call him. Um, right, so I think the plan is destroy towers, destroy the gate with the ballista. And then, yeah, we'll have to see, but I think... Oh, is he on the wall? Right, everyone, fight on the wall! I think the best chance we have is literally just lobbing siege equipment at him. That is Sauron. Because of his high armor and his defensive stats all round, I need to make a wall or a hole in the wall anyway to get my trebuchet through, right? Um, you yeah, know he's gonna be so hard to kill just for regular infantry. Also, the fact that his unit is relentless. Now, for those of you who are curious, in the newest version of Divide and Conquer AGO, Sauron has been returned to his quote-unquote elephant unit, which he used to have before, but he's been given some magical power so he can actually lob fireballs, kind of like a, a mangonel. Ooh, that was actually kind of close. Or a goblin, what is it called? Flame Wrangler, I think. If you could snipe him over there in that angle, actually use fire ammo, because I think that's a higher chance of one hit kill. Oh! Oh yes! Fuck you, little Sauronling! Oh, we pissed him off. We pissed him off. I was like, okay then! You want this. You want this. But yeah, we, we aren't using that modern version Sauron, or the updated Sauron, because I started playing this campaign before that update, and I don't want to... I never ever mess during a campaign with game files, you know? I don't want to risk losing stuff. So that's why I never do that, really. Alright, make the hole in the wall. Actually, we can push a little bit closer. If I don't need to make a hole in the gate, I can save my ballista ammo. 
We need to be smart about this. We got pikes which can hold him in place. We don't really have any infantry that can kill him, we need to be honest here. We could do some damage like if we whittle down his unit just to kill like the last couple units. But if I were to just run in my, my troops and have him fight out on one on one, I don't think it would work. Unless we are in a position where Gandalf could use cycle charges. But we all know how finicky charges can be inside settlements, especially this kind of settlement. We fought in this type before with uh, Pinneth Gellin cavalry, I remember. And it didn't go all that well because they couldn't get their charge off. Sometimes they could, but most of the time they couldn't. Anyway, I spy with my little eye that we've got a slope on this side, but then we have straight lines on all these sides. So it would be better for our ballista crew to be positioned on one of these three streets. Uh, we got two ballistic crews, so we can put them on two streets and get a bit of a crossfire going. I think that's our best bet. The trebuchet could stay on this side because it fires in an arc, of course, so we don't need to suffer too much from that slope. That's all nice and dandy in theory, of course. We'll have to see how it works in practice. Uh, so I'm actually going to make like a grouping of units. You are going to be this right side battalion. Bloop. Then you... Uh, uh, going to be the left side battalion. Like that. Trebuchet, you're going to go in the middle. You as well, you as well, you as well. Although I'm going to try not to use you. And Aragorn, sorry, Gandalf, I'm going to try to put you back here. And who knows, maybe in this street you can get some charges off. That's the plan. Will it work? I have no friggin' idea. Okay, but Sauron's just chilling, so that's going to give me time to, to set up. Everyone, take up your positions. The plan is to just get ready and then start a crossfire at the same time, so hopefully Sauron doesn't run into one direction and completely fuck it over. And then run off to the second direction and fuck that one completely over. That's the plan. We want to confuse him. Would it work? I don't know. I wish I had Gilgalad on my side, but unfortunately he's long dead. Oh, Gandalf, that... Did I really do that? Wow, I thought it was this street. That was risky. <laughs> but it worked! It seems Sauron is completely fine just chilling on the town squared. So that's good. The White City will prevail! I damn diggity hope so. Uh, let's just make sure that our missile lads are not fighting at will. We don't want to trigger him early. Soldier battalion at the ready. You're going to go there. You lads, get in position. No, oh, it's going to take you a fair bit longer to get there. Sorry, I find that funny. Um, right, ballistic crew, you're getting in position. You're not fighting at will. I think with how narrow the street is, we're only ever going to be able to set up two ballistic next to one another. Surely you can place two. Oh, that's that's three actually. That's perfect. Four, if you want to. But okay then. Is, are you are you all right in there? So he's inside the house. Sauron will never see that one coming. Get closer, get closer. That's a bit of an awful angle. If I put you here, that would... Or actually, 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 if I could somehow use the street... Actually, it doesn't matter. I was planning on doing like a flanking maneuver, but it makes no difference because he's relentless, so he doesn't really care about flanks. There's no way we're going to stagger him or anything close to that. So what's the point? Alright, we're almost in position. And then we're just going to trigger everyone's fire at will. Blackroot Vale Arches, could you set up a little bit safer? And stop. That's perfect. Boys, I've got to admit, I'm a little bit scared. And with little bit, I mean quite scared. Forward. And stop. Don't want to be too close so that you get immediately into like a stuck position in melee. 
But I, I think we're all in position as soon as the ballista has a bit of a better position. It's a bit finicky, but we'll get that. There we go. All right, lads. This... No, oh, no, no. Fuck. Ah, whatever. It's just a matter of getting volleys off. Are you ready? I'm not. Oh, Everyone's getting ready. By the way. The other sh oh, fucking hell. That was quite effective. Okay, he's running that way. Interesting. I don't think the arrows are doing anything. Ballista! Ballista. Oh, yes. No. Close. No cigar. There we go. Ah, oh, yes. Fuck you, Sauron. You like fire, don't you? I'll suck on my fire. The minority and ingenuity. Another volley, please. That would be perfect. What do I do, though? Do I just abandon this flank? There is Sauron himself. Snipe him, and I'll give you 20 gold coins. Alright. Ballista crew, get the fuck out of that. Run this way. He's going for Angbor. That's less than ideal. That is... Hmm, I... Hmm, could Gandalf... Wait, actually, actually, actually. He's ignoring my Ballista crew. Angbor, you might be the sacrificial lamb. I'm going to put you on guard mode, just so hopefully... Could you run? We're in a bit of a hurry. But if he ignores this Ballista crew... You know what, Trebuchet, if you want to fire over that, you can go ahead and try. If he ignores my Ballista crew... I'm sorry, Angbor. You have served me well. But this is perfect. A bit of an anticlimactic end to Sauron, perhaps. But I really don't care. If we kill him, I'm happy. As long as... No, 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 don't fuck up my Ballista... I hate the AI so much. How do they do that? Give commands to like specific models of units to fuck over like he's fighting three units at the same time you sh cheating son of a bitch. Alright, in that case I'm just gonna pull back. I don't see any purpose in trying to fight here. I want Sauron to pull back to his town square. We ain't killing him like this, I don't think. Have we killed any? I'm not seeing any dead Saurondings. Uh, I hate that he could attack my Ballista with like one guy. Just one guy fucking up my formation entirely. Trebuchet is missing quite hard. I mean, I could try to send in Gandalf for the charge. I'm not sure if it'll work. But he is a unit I feel like has somewhat a chance of doing some damage. He still has 70 lads. We killed 20% though. Is this an angle he can charge from though? I somehow doubt that. You guys need to be on guard mode a little bit, like you're being way too aggressive. No, no, Angbor, whoa, 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 sorry. Wrong button, wrong guy. I could maybe push in this ballista crew, but then I might just completely forfeit their lives. Our men are in command of the city. Oh, would that be enough to lure him back to the town square? Probably not. No. Alright, Gandalf, as long as you're not on the front line, I don't mind you doing a charge. You're not on the front line, good. You are moving to the front line. Less than stellar. Surely you won't die on the charge, right? Please be an actual charge. No charge! Pick up speed! I hate siege battles so much. What was that? What the fuck was that? Just charge, old man. Our men have taken control of the city. Maybe I should just wait out 40 minutes, eh? Might be my best bet. <laughs> Do I dare push the trebuchet over? At this point, I'll take anything. Why are you not fighting? Might wound him somehow. I just hold. That's all he needs to do. Keep him busy for as long as possible. 
All right. Oh, this battle sucks. It's not going quite as planned. Sauron's a bit annoying. But let's see what the trebuchet can do, eh? I'm gonna just stick to regular shot, non-fire shot. Yee! Uh, why do you hate that building so much? Trebuchet. If he misses too often, I'll stick to fire shot. At least that one does splash damage. Alright. They're a stationary target. You can hit walls just fine, so surely you can hit these guys. There we go. Mostly hit our own troops. Alright, we're gonna get out of there. Leave Sauron to rot. He's down to 69. Close. <gasps> hey, nice job. It's the only way to kill this fucking guy. That and Oathbreakers, I suppose. Take the gate, get the fuck out. Angbor, get the hell out of here. Okay, well, we uh, we definitely uh, caught his attention. For better or for worse. He's just casually walking, though. I think he's just making fun of me. But I need to somehow ballista sandwich him. That's my only <laughs> path to victory. Sauron himself is looking a bit bloody. I think he might have taken some damage. Alright, run! Ballista, where are you going? I never gave you any order to move. You guys run. Trebuchet. Like, this is your time to shine, Ballista crew. Alright, Trebuchet, run away. Oh, I'm such a fucking idiot. What is this spell? Trebuchet, now is... Or Ballista, now is your time to shine. You can get so many good volleys off. I don't care if I destroy my own trebuchet. No He's down to 61, so we kill about 20. <laughs> Just kind of pathetic. But we're getting there. That was almost a nice shot. My arch militia is spazzing out. Come on. This is a stupid battle. There we go. Hey, we liberated our archer militia friends. Fuck my own trebuchets, am I right? No, why are you going that way? Oh, fuck. Why would you go that way? Don't go after that, I go on. I mean, it makes sense, I suppose, but please don't. Run! This AI is working in mysterious ways once more. Though, actually, if I could load him out on the field, then Aragorn or Gandalf could actually charge. And that would make a big difference. Then I'd kind of feel secure in fighting him. So yes, go ahead, chase me. Can I still man the trebuchet? Yeah, there's still one functioning. Or is there? Yeah, this one's still alright. He's gonna start triggering ballista. Oh no. The fuck ballista crew. Where are you going? You're so annoying, Sauron. Just just either do something or do nothing, but this like in betweening. This ballista crew is completely stuck. This one keeps putting themselves into awful positions. I'm not even sure where the two other ballista I went. I know it's a bit anticlimactic to take down Sauron like this, but it's the only way, like, my infantry cannot beat him whatsoever. Surely you can hit him. What are you doing? Oh my god. I mean, I'd love for him to come out on the field and fight me. So Gandalf can take him down. And again, he's running that way. I really don't understand. All right, have it your way. No, okay, you good. Fifty-three, still so many. <laughs> if he's down to like twenty, I might be able to take him down, but even then, I'm unsure. Actually, twenty is a lot. All right, stop fighting, making yourself look stupid. All right, is he just gonna stand there? Um, send in the archer militia. 
The thing is, they look a bit bloody, but I'm not sure if they're actually wounded or not. They got, like, what, five hit points, was it? Yeah, like... Somehow I doubt my Arch Militia caused any hit points damage with how much shield stat and just raw armor stat the they got. I'd be surprised if they did anything. Maybe if there were steel bows and yeah. Or crossbows. But even then, like... It would only cause like a, f a little bit of hit points, uh, maybe. Alright, bring in the Black Root Veil Archers. Get all the volleys off. I've, I'd be surprised if we get this entire ammo pool depleted and kill one. That would surprise me greatly. And honestly, I might just move the ballista. Sacrifice one ballista crew so the other one can succeed. Our men have taken control of the city. I don't even think the AI knows what to do with the Sauron unit. It is a mysterious unit after all. Oh lord, I wish he was on my side. Why would you have to go evil? Can't you just be nice, Sauron? I'm surprised Sauron himself hasn't gotten sniped yet. But halfway down his unit, so there was a 50-50 chance of him being dead, pretty much. Right, pull the crew. Wonderful. Wonderful. Not so wonderful. Run! No! Just get a charge! Run! Oh! Keep him in position. Sacrificial lamb style. I'm sorry, Black Rootville Archers. Why aren't you doing anything? I hate this ballista crew sometimes. You can just get volleys off now, that'd be wonderful. Come on! I'll ballista bolt the one ring off of your hand. There we go. Oh, this battle is so stupid. <gasps> yes! We got him! <laughs> oh, this is so stupid! But yes, we have ballistaid Sauron to death. Now finish off his men. Yes! Suck my Numenorian ingenuity! We are attacking you. Now I don't even care. Finish off the last of them. So it wasn't uh, Aragorn, it wasn't Gandalf that killed Sauron the second time. It was Random Ballista Crew number 14. Props to them. Sometimes I need to reset these Ballista guys just to get a bit of a brain. Come on. Come on. Who would have thought, eh? But yeah, I mean, that was pretty much the only way we could take down Sauron. Imagine if he was leading an army. I mean, there are there were two other ways where we could have taken down Sauron, and that was either Steel Bowman spam, that could have been a trick, or if we fought him on the field, if we lured him out, uh, just cavalry charges. But that was the, pretty much the only options. Because he has that many hit points, there's really no other way to take him down. Or maybe if we had, like, armor-piercing javelins, but we don't really have those. So no, Steel Bows would have been... The number one way to go, I'd say, and then number two, cavalry charge. But seeing as he's inside a settlement, Our men have taken control of the city. yeah, it was either this or steel boys. And I upped it with the ballista crew, two ballista crew. If we had just the one, we wouldn't have succeeded. I'm very happy I got that one from Minas Anor. Where is dead Sauron? He's here somewhere. I can't really tell. He's just burned to a. Oh, there he is. No, no, that's not him. Just kind of burned to a crisp, so... Men no longer command the city. Oh, whatever. Come on, finish him off. Why do you keep spazzing out? There's 17 left. That's a little bit scary just to run in there. Our men have taken control of the city. Alright, you're out of ammo. How many are left? 15. You still have a little bit of ammo. I'm not entirely in favour of just running in there and praying for the best. Alright, you've got a clean shot. And you're the only one that's not fighting. Oh, you actually made yourself a clean shot. Perfect. 
Can't believe that worked. Oh, uh, we're just gonna blow this part of the wall out and then we actually have a clean shot. Alright, trebuchet, ballista, ballista, not trebuchet. Sorry, my brain's still a bit foggy. Get you fucking move! Should I just send in the lads to try and kill off the last 13? Let's do it! Atta gone! Boy, is it gonna take a while for you to get that? Hang ball. Get in there. Oh, wait, you finally moved. Watch him accidentally snipe Aragorn somehow. <laughs> Come on, kill as many as you can. Make life easy on me. Down to 10. Our men have taken control of the city. Attack! Advance! The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. We should just be able to overwhelm him, but look how quickly he's cleaning through my men. Imagine having to kill 80 of that. They could take that entire doom stacks of Gondor, no problem. Just because we don't really have the AP to deal with them. Friendly fire it all you want. For once, it's allowed. Just make sure you hit some. Don't use it as a free pass to kill my friends only. You got to kill some of them as well. Okay, they just completely cleaned up. Well. Aragorn, you're here. I'm not sure if you have the strength it takes, but hey, we'll see. Still 10 Saurons. Sauronlings, as I like to call them. If we spam our special abilities, maybe we'll stand a chance. We might still lose Angbor, so be it. I mean, we are dishing out so much damage to them because they're completely surrounded, right? No, Ang Aragorn is relatively safe. Ten Sauronlings. Who just refuse to die. Oh, down to eight. Okay. That makes a big difference. Down to six. Look at our numbers dropping. Get in there. Gandalf, I need your special ability. Down to five. Yeah, we got this. First of the Astari. There we go, lads. That took much longer than expected. But we have killed Sauron <laughs> at what cost? Oh lord. Wow. It's a good thing no one's keeping statistics of this campaign, because that would have been that would have been pretty bad. This one ballista crew though killed 46. Didn't even gain any experience. Sniped Sauron himself. Haven't learned the damn thing about warfare. Wow. That's all I can say about that. Wow. There we go. I can tell you. Without lying, that's the first time I've ever defeated Sauron in any campaign. I've been playing Third Age for a long ass freaking time. I get the One Ring, right? <gasps> okay, Aragorn has the One Ring. Nice. Can I give it to Gandalf? Is that a possibility? So he can go to the White Council and all that jazz? Bloop. I can give it to Gandalf. Alright, wonderful. Yes, my lord. So you can bug it off. Gotta go and can you return to Western Asgiddy if you can? Can you keep the peace, Angbo? Uh, yes, you can if I lower the tax rate. And we can immediately upgrade to a city. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful news. Okay, so Sauron is dead. We don't get any special messages about that, no. Uh, okay, this guy's coming over, but I think they're gonna F off. Maybe go for Minas Ethel, but that's fine. We can hold that just fine. What I do want to do is actually get some watchtowers down here. This tower will keep vigil over the there we go. This tower will keep vigil There's a settlement the here, I think it's called Hawthorner. Which we do need to be a little bit wary for. Oh, righty. I should try to go for Dane's Holes. 
It has basically no garrison at this point. Oh, that's wonderful news. I can reach it in one turn, I think. I definitely can if I move my cav first. There we go, maintain siege. Because then these guys can reinforce the cav, right? Yep. Uh, so we only have one ballista crew, but it should be enough to knock down the gate and do a one turn siege battle. At that point, I no longer really need a garrison in Burzakur, I don't think, because we will no longer border. Let's see, Upper Vales. This is Frostlands. Frostlands borders Wastelands, which is rebel territory. The Grey Mountains will be ours. So at that point, we only border Gundabad at Framsburg and Dane's Halls. So that army might very well go for Framsburg, which could be a problem. Let's see, can I move you? I can move you. Wonderful. Um, so I'm going to need some reinforcements. That's for damn sure. I thought I was getting some extra troops. Oh, Mayon's coming in. The legend. I'm sure he can make a difference. We can actually give him a sizable force as well. Decent units. Okay, let's do that Battle of Dane's Halls before we round off today's episode. I do want the best of the best to come along. Oh, the journeyman, mayhaps. Yep, Burzakul is still peaceful. You can reinforce Aroban, and there we go. Mogas! Oh, what do you have, my friend? You've got Black Shield Warriors. That's not that scary. And then some defenders. We'll be all right. Okay, we've killed Sauron. Now, this is just a small detail, isn't it? Give them no quarter this day, men. Ooh, that's actually quite cinematic. I love the camera movement here. It's quite a cool settlement. But not a very practical one to defend. Unless you like quote the Outer Wars, which I don't think the AI tends to do, I'm not sure. Uh, so let's just plop everyone at the front line. Yeah, no, they just deploy on the inside. But I think I might be wrong. Can you also put your troops on the... Nah, I'm thinking of Thorin's Halls, I think. Where you've got like little walkways up around the town square. You can put your own arches. It's quite effective, but... This is going to be actually just a field battle inside a mountain. Do like the gate, it's quite wonderful. Alright, but just get everyone up there. You know what, I'll just fast forward and I'll see you in just a moment. Okay, here we are. Let's go in there and slaughter- Oh, wait, fuck, they're already coming to me. Sons of bitches. Uh, hang on a moment, that's actually not that bad. Are they actually going to move outside? No, they just wanted to be a bit threatening, I suppose. So let's get everyone in there. Hey, are you annoying me again? Nope. Fuck. <sighs> and I can't properly maneuver my. Tr uh. Alright, but you move to the flank and just shoot in their sides. I hate the AI when they do like that back and forth bullshittery. We're gonna attack you. No, we're not. Oh, we are. Oh, we're not. No, actually, we are. <laughs> Come on, dude. There we go. Thabad Royal Guard keeps him in place. I'll just shoot him down. Bada bing, bada boom. What more do you need? Oh, crap. What I actually need is more infantry. That's a big one. I mean, the Cardinal and Sentinels, I could use them as infantry, but... Well, at least the um, Thabad Royal Guard is holding incredibly well, as always. Like, incredible unit. Has never really let me down. And especially with the armor of Great Day looks so fucking nice. But I do have travelers. Get the hell out of there. You are all right in melee, but I'd rather not waste you on that. Come on, get to the flank. Don't skirmish mode. It's gonna fuck up your pathfinding. Alright, Dean's Halls will be mine. Some people have been saying that I should rename it to Aragorn's Halls, but I'm not sure, because. It is still my plan to give these settlements back to the dwarves at some point. Because a war with Rune seems inevitable, and if I have a strong Erebor as an ally against Rune, could make a big difference, I think. Could make a very big difference. Because Rune doesn't really have that much armor piercing capabilities, so dwarves. Dwarves are pretty hard to deal with for Rune, I'd say. And trust me, I know Rune quite well as a faction. I'd much rather fight Dorwinian than Erebor. Okay, they're going down. What have you got? Not a whole lot. Well, losing a chunk of Thabad Royal Guard, but then again, they've hold the line against just overwhelming numbers. 
So my, my consensus is I need more pikes on the front line. But they're just not as readily available. Oh no, I wish I could get them more often, but... We'll round off this battle and then we'll do a toggle fog of war to see what's going on in the world. Now that Sauron has been defeated. For now, I mean, his spirit endures. Do we have reclaimed the One Ring? Alright. That's just a general Mogas. Kill him! Bring him down, Breland Militia! Imagine being just a random Brelander farmer and then being hired to do some mercenary work. You're like, ah, sure, you know, slow harvesting season. And suddenly you're killing Morgas, conqueror of Dean's Halls, inside of Dean's Halls. And just wondering, how the hell did I get up here? Anyway, there we go. Clean wind, Tabadrill Guard being excellent as always. Wonderful. Did it in range is also getting 103 kills? Impressive. Beautiful, Dean's Halls is now ours. And I fully expect this army to immediately attack me. So be it. Uh, let's exterminate. Not my problem. And it only makes it slightly less money than before, so can't really complain. Uh, let's... Do you actually have any Dwarven culture left? You do! You actually do. So if I give this to the Dwarves... I might just do that. You... The Dwarves should get a garrison. And then I can keep moving and possibly take Rakyaburg soon enough. Yeah, we'll leave that for next turn. Let's talk about the Fog of War. And see what is going on. Okay. Alright, alright. Let's start with our own realm, which is massive. Then we've got Bree over here. They still have Ostgalon and Mikkel Delving. They seem to be quite peaceful, just having a good life. There's Bilbo, that's Frodo. Marmadas. That sounds like a dish. A nice cup of Marmadas. We got Aranil over here. That is an awesome looking model. Holy shit. Is that just a regular friend. Noldor model? Because that looks great. Holy cow. The shield on his back. Wonderful. Uh, not really spotting the Aradunheim invasion yet. Not sure if that's still happening or not. The Aradunheim are kind of getting their ass whooped though. They've lost Khaldun. They've retreated back to Umbar. Aradunheim is close to falling with their new serpent lord Musad. Or Musab, sorry. Coming in with a big army. Everything went downhill after the Gimelchad died, it seems. So Harad seems to be actually our strongest threat so far. They are quite big. Big chunky Harad. Khan's also quite powerful. Uh, but yeah, if we take Hardener, we would border them. Right now we're not bordering them, so they're not going to be too aggressive for us. And Imlat Khan is very undefended. Not sure where most of Khan's forces are, if anywhere. There's a small-ish army there. They're all over here, which is a bit of a surprise, but okay. Is that Khan Akish? He's chilling at his capital. Or the ancient capital, at least, of Surlitzakand. Mordor has taken a beating. They only have Hothenor outside of Mordor itself. And if we then take the Black Gate, Moranon, we've pretty much locked them inside of the, the Ash Mountains, which is quite nice. Dorwinian is doing surprisingly well as well against Rune. Rune hasn't really taken too much territory. They are besieging Lust, but I think Dorwinian will be fine. Erebor does not actually border Rune, interestingly enough. And Dale's holding in surprisingly well. I thought after losing Eskaroth and Dale, they'd go down very, very fast. Yes, my lord. That hasn't been the case just yet. We're going to move you yes, towards Erebor so you can do some diplomacy. Thranduil is holding in his halls, but besides that, it's taken quite a beating. At least we're dealing with the Snow Orcs, but Dol Guldur is kind of left unchecked at the moment. Oh, actually, Mordor still holds a bunch of territory near Rohan. Terithanduin, Entwade. Rohan needs to step up their game a little bit. I thought they were. Yeah, they got a big army here. Use it. Hmm. At least the elves are alive. Surprised Kazadum has taken limb here yet, but they are taking a bit of a beating on their own side there. Dol Guldur is quite a big threat. They hold a lot of territory. Yeah, they might start pissing off the Winian soon enough. But hopefully if we take care of Gundabad slowly but surely, it will buy some room for the elves. Besides that, nothing too crazy to report. Rune is less of a threat than expected. Although they are a threat, don't get me wrong, but they are kept in check quite nicely. Mordor is not really a threat at the moment anymore. Harad will be a tough nut to crack. The other name, less so. If I take Umbar, the other name are just completely fucked, I think. We're about to take Methrast. We can take Gobbletoflus along the way as well, because it has a very small garrison. Still a lot of Dunedin culture in there. 
So yeah, let's see. And otherwise, they're just kind of chilling. I don't think they're going to do anything else. Just that armies. I hope they never attack me. That would be painful, but whatever. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We have taken down Sauron, which is of course quite a big deal. We hold the Wandering. Yes. Gandalf was already on his way to Imladris for the White Council meeting, which will take place. We'll probably get the prompt for it next turn. And then the path is cleared. We go to Mount Doom and we get rid of Mordor for good. And then we don't have to worry about these elements either, which is quite good news. And then we can round off the campaign whenever we really want to. We'll have met our official victory conditions. And I think my personal victory conditions would still be to take care of Harad and possibly Rune. Or the Aradhanaim for sure. Let's say Aradhanaim, Harad and maybe Rune. Khand, I don't really care too much about. I don't really like fighting Khand. Uh, but if you guys have any ideas about different victory conditions, do let me know. But yeah, with that said, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And I hope to catch you soon for episode number 37, I think.